Hello, viewer. Welcome to our new program, God is Listening. A testimony program with prayer in it. Um, to, to, today in the studio is uh, my guest. Her name is, please tell us your name and say hello to the viewer. Hello, viewer. My name is Jacinta Were, mm. a member of New Life SDA Church. Amen. Amen. Uh, Jacinta, will you please tell us your favorite verse, what God is speaking to you at this time, and then pray very briefly. I like the middle verse in the Bible. That is Psalms 118, verse 8 and 9. And it says, it is better to put your trust in God than in man. Amen. It is better to put your trust in God than put your confidence in princes. Amen. That verse encourages me because it makes me know that God is my everything. Amen. Shall we pray? Amen. Father, in Jesus' name we come before the Holy Presence. We just want to invite the Presence of the Holy Spirit that even as we uh, discuss and even as we share these testimonies, your name and your name alone may be glorified. Mm -hmm. Take control of the whole program for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jacinta, thank you for coming. It's nice to have you here. Thank you. And I know that the Lord is going to bless us together with our viewer. Uh, tell me, uh, who are you? Uh, who are you in the world and do you know Christ? Uh, Jacinta Were, mm. Were, from where I come from, mm. is another name for God. Amen. So I believe I'm physically a child of God. <laughs> and spiritually, through the birth, the second birth, I'm a child of God. Amen. So um, you can easily call me a thing as I, you know, child of God. Mm. Because of the many, many things that God has done into my life. Amen. Um, outside there, I... I'm a water steward, I'll call myself that. Mm -hmm. Because God has given me this resource to manage. What is a water steward? A water steward is just a water manager. I manage the water resources of this country. Okay. And, but that one aside, mm. I believe that my calling is just to serve God. Amen. Yes. Because many things I've only seen when I'm in the service of God. So how did you meet Christ to begin with? I was born a Catholic, that's where Jacinta comes from, and then my parents were turned from Catholic to Anglican. Mm -hmm. So I grew up in both Catholic and Anglican uh, home, but then I met this man who introduced me to, to, to the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you, my sister, it was not easy to become an Adventist. Mm. Uh, I, I remember running away from baptism, staying in the baptismal class for three years mm -hmm. because I feared being immersed, you know. I, now I know it is immersed. Then I thought I was just going to, my nose was being blocked and then dipped in water. But I want to tell you that... You thought they wanted to drown you. Yes, <laughs> and I feared it and I ran away for three years. Mm. But when I made the decision, mm. And that was through the Sabbath school class. Mm -hmm. One day I went to church early and I found people discussing the lesson and a question was asked and I answered. I don't even know what I answered. But the fact that I could be given an opportunity to discuss the Bible was enough for me. From that time, I started going to church early Amen. so that I could get the Sabbath school. And, and that's how I became a Christian. It was through the Sabbath school that Christ spoke to me. And I came to know about him and I accepted him as my Lord and Savior. Amen. I await his so, second return. So uh, you were amazed by the lesson, dis uh, lesson discussion in the Sabbath school? Yes. Amen. And I still enjoy it. I don't want, I mean, a Sabbath without lesson discussion mm -hmm. is not complete for me. Amen. It, it is what, you know, it's like I'm preaching to myself and it tells me what to do and how I should do it. So it also empowered you. You felt empowered yes. that you could discuss the Bible. Yes. Amen. Amen. And share, you know, hear what the others think about it. Amen. I think it's a very good thing. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So now tell us, what has God done in your life? What is this testimony that you want 
us to hear today. I'm sure you may be having many, but there's one that has brought you here. Actually, there are many. I don't even know which one to pick mm. because my whole life is about testimony. Mm. I, I just allow me to, to, to bring you to my early life. I'm a single parent. Mm -hmm. I, I have these three very beautiful daughters. Mm -hmm. And God has now blessed me also with four grandchildren mm -hmm. and, of course, my, my sons-in-law. So When you say you're a single parent, are you a widow? Are you... Separated. I'm not a oh, widow. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. But then God placed these kids in my hands when they were very young. Like the, the last one was just nine months mm -hmm. old. So I didn't know what to do. So, uh, uh, and, uh, and I know that uh, it, it, being separated is not very good. Mm -hmm. So I, I was like running away from God running mm -hmm. away from the responsibilities I had been given in church. Mm -hmm. Until this pastor came and told me that, Jacinta, God loves you. The action may not be good, but God loves you, and you must continue serving God. Mm -hmm. And so normally when you're a single person, you want somebody else to help you. Mm -hmm. Because you, know, you are used to getting help from your partner, your husband, and now there are things you must do yourself. Mm -hmm. And so you go asking for, for money, asking for help. And then I came across this verse that I've just shared. Mm. It was in this book, Help for Daily Living, Mrs. White's Help for mm. Daily Living. Mm -hmm. And so that time it was only 20 shillings. So I read the book, and inside there, Mrs. White said that man in his f normal uh, circumstance goes, for, goes to fellow man for help. Mm -hmm. But God in his goodness makes sure that that man does not help you so that it ca you can see that it is God who helps. Amen. And something just broke in me. I said, oh, this is it. And from that time, I started praying, mm. asking God that, God, here I am with these three children. These children, because you are, you say you are the father of the fatherless, mm. now God started blessing them. And that's how my whole life turned. Because I told God, I'm just a maid. Maids can do mistakes. And I, I've done so much wrong to you, but just forgive me. But for the sake of these fatherless children, please bring them up. And, and I've seen God. God Amen. provided for them. I want to tell you, my sister, and you've known me for some time, even getting school fees was not easy. Buying books was not easy. But God provided in that these children, as they went to school, God gave them scholar. Um, they could do well so that I could get those vouchers to go to the then Ereto bookshop to buy books. Amen. And, and so I saw God walking with them every step of the day and that is how my 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 my, my, my faith uh, increased because i saw god at work amen what i want to to share the the, the very testimony that i want to share it has just come the, the lord has just brought it amen was that um, in bringing up these children, mm. i decided to work with them through the church program you know i was a catholic mm. and so this church made me a pathfinder director and i didn't know what to do so I decided to go and learn about Pathfinders. The year was 1996. And I, the first camp, we were going to have a camp at Masai Mara. Mm. And I was going to take the church kids. And I didn't know what, how to take them as a director and I don't know about a camp. So there was this camp that was in Uganda. I decided to attend it. Mm. And I didn't have money to attend the camp. Mm. And so again, I went on my knees and asked God, God, please, provide the money that can take me to Uganda to attend the campory. And I, I told God that, God, as I go, please, God, don't let the landlord close the door for me. And don't let my children be chased away from school when I'm away. And I had God say yes. And then God sent me to five people to sponsor me to Uganda. And I requested for finances to take me. And all of them, all the five agreed. So when it was time to go, I went to the first one. I reminded, um, my campory is coming this weekend. Will you please help me? That was the last week to the campory. The campory was starting on a Sunday. So the person said, no, you didn't remind me. So I don't have anything. I went to the second person. No, you didn't remind me. I don't have anything. The third person. No, you didn't remind me. The fourth person. The fourth one gave me 500 shillings. And, and, and then I went back to my niece and I told God, God, didn't you hear them say that they will sponsor me? And God said, yes. 
And then I told God, God, now this fifth person, whatever he wants to give me, I don't know. But multiply this number, this amount, with the number that is in heaven. So that as I live, the promises that you promise that my children will not be chased away when I'm gone, or my house will be locked, comes true. So that Friday morning, I came to Nairobi, because I used to stay in Nakuru. I went for my passport. I got my, that 500 shillings I used for the fair. Uh, I had another church member we were going to the company with. Uh, so we paid the passport. And then after that is when I called the fifth person. And then, where are you? Because we are in Nakuru, and today's Friday. And I said, I'm in Nairobi, I came for the passport. Please come to my office. And I didn't even know Nairobi. So this uh, church member took me to the office and I reached. Then he asked, where's your pro forma for fees? And I said, I don't have a pro forma. Mm -hmm. I only asked verbally and asked five people. But I got 500 shillings. How much do you need? I had not even done my maths. So I said, I need enough money to take me to the campery. The campery is at Ruenzori Mountains. There was a meet and secondary school that is run by the Adventists. So the campery was on the, those grounds. So I, I want to go to up to Ruenzori Mountain. We'll camp there for a week. Uh, so I need transport, the finances to keep me there, and then I come back safely. So he brought the drawer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He was counting money. He counted up to, I think, 14, then closed that drawer, and then went to another cabinet there and counted another four. And he gave me 20,000 shillings. 20,000 shillings in 1996 was something that I couldn't, I, 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 you know, it was more than I could. And instead of saying thank you, I just said, how great thou art. Amen. And I started singing. And I sang. In his office. Yes. Mm. And I sang and we left. And um, as, as we went, I bought my first Mako. And then I paid my rent. I, pay, I finished everything. Then I went to the campory. At the campory, there was this girl who was a student at Mutandi uh, uh, Secondary School. Mm. She used to come to our tent for lunch. She was not an Adventist. And I had time to, to, to testify, to witness to her. Because she told me that her father was not an uh, Adventist and the father was dead. So she wanted, she didn't want to join the church because she doesn't want to let her father down. So I told her, even me, my father just died the other day. And here I am. He was not an Adventist. So I talked to her, I talked to her. But she was not willing. So on Sabbath during the baptism, she came to eat in our tent. But we had not cooked because Kenyans were fasting. So the two of us who were from Kenya, we decided to fast with our fellow Kenyans. So when she came, there was no food. I told her, do you mind just coming to go and witness how baptism is done? So she came. We walked with her. As we walked to the, to the river where we were doing the baptism, I continued talking to her. So when the pastor finished baptizing, he asked this question that pastors always ask. Is there anyone who would like to be baptized and maybe was not ready? And the girl raised her hand. Amen. I said, thank you, Lord. And, and then the pastor said, I'll baptize you next time. And there's something she told the pastor that, no, let me talk to somebody else first. So she came to me. And then she asked me, Jacinta, will you come for my, for my baptism in two weeks' time? And then I told her, no. Coming here was a miracle. God brought me here. I can't tell you I'll come again. And then she went back to the pastor. She has to be there during my baptism. So baptism was arranged for her the next day. And we witnessed her baptism. And then it just confirmed to me that the reason why God sponsored me to the camp or re was not because of my own learning. Amen. But there was a soul in Uganda Amen. who had stayed there from form 1 to form 4 Amen. in an Adventist school who was waiting to hear my testimony, Amen. to be baptized. Mm. And, and that was the first miracle that happened in my, in my missionary. I, I normally call it my missionary life Amen. because it is my walk with Christ. Mm. And I'm so grateful to that. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Wonderful. You want to tell us another one? Yes. Tell us. This one was after a prayer. Because mm. we are talking about prayer and answered prayers. Mm. There was this. But maybe if we, before we go on, we can have a break and then we, we come back. 
Okay. Uh, dear viewer, we'll have a short break and then we'll come back to hear that second te testimony. Welcome back, dear viewer. We, you are watching Hope Channel Kenya, and the program is God is Listening, a testimony program. And um, for those who have just joined us, our guest uh, uh, today is Jacinta Were, Sister Jacinta. Yes, thank you for the first one. Please tell us what else is in your heart. Thank you. Yes. Um, I'd like to share something uh, wonderful that happened after prayers. Amen. Um, I don't remember the year. The only thing I remember is that one of my daughters had just done her uh, st form standard date. Mm -hmm. And she passed well. God blessed her. So Amen. she passed well. And then we were looking for schools. Mm -hmm. And there was no school. Mm -hmm. And where she was taken, she didn't want that school. Mm. So here I was running with the results in every school. I go to this school. This one did very well. Uh, we can't have her here. This one did very well. Go to where she chose. And so I walked and walked. And then a friend of mine asked me, my friend Pamela, she asked me, Jacinta, have you prayed? Or oh, you are just working with the results because you did well, because the <laughs> daughter did well. Mm. And I realized that we oh had my. not prayed. Mm. So we agreed to fast and pray for three days. Amen. With Best your children. Fight. Yes, and my friend, she helped me. She joined the, 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 the prayer. Mm -hmm. So we prayed, and after the prayer, I had a dream. By the way, I don't know the difference between a, a, a vision and a dream, but I saw a dream. I had a dream. And in the dream... Was it in the night? Were you sleeping? Yes, I was sleeping. Mm. And then the dream came, and in the dream, the former president of this country mm -hmm. had visited our church in Nakuru. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it was on a Sabbath. And after the service, he was leaving and you know, with those so many people uh, who surround him. So I ran to him and I told him, please give me a school. My daughter has passed and I don't have school. And then he turned and told me, today is Sabbath. We don't discuss that. <laughs> and I was so heartbroken. And he left. And as I remained down so hard broken, the spirit told me, persevere. Remember that woman. Remember that woman who persevered until the king helped her. So I started running after the president. He had gone so far because by the time I was reaching him, he was at the Ngatas Bridge. For those who know Nakuru. So I found him at the Ngatas Bridge and I held his coat. And I said, sir, please help me. So he asked me, what did your daughter get? I told him the, the marks. So he told me, take those results to cooperative bank. Look for a Mr. Cheruiot. I will give you the school. And I woke up. And I said, God, please. I knelt back. So I told God, God, please. I know you are answering. My, 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 and you know you are answering my prayer. But this is going to be so hard. They'll think I'm crazy. I can't go looking for that <laughs> person Someone I don't, I don't know. know. So please make it easier for me. Mm. And I said, amen. Then I went to the office. 10 o'clock, I got a call. Jacinta, how are you? I'm fine. Are you in the office? Yes. And you know, there was only, there were no mobile, so it was only the office. Wait for us, we are coming there at 10 o'clock. And who are you? Know, I was really, I really wanted to hear the name Cheruiot <laughs> because I was waiting for God. So the person comes and, and he says that we've been sent to you. We want you to help us with this, you know, like I told them, a water steward. So my work was making sure that all the water works are, are having their permits, are legalized. If you have a dam, a borehole, things like that. So they wanted me to legalize their farm. And this farm was uh, owned by, 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 by a very important person then in this country. So me, it was all eyes. Then I told him, please, I'm looking for a school. Who sent it to me? Then he told me that my boss from Nairobi. So I said, 
I'm looking for a school, that's why you've not been finding me. What did she get? I gave the results. So told me, go and work for us first. And when you finish, call this number and you'll get a school. So I went, I worked. After working, that was on a Friday, and I carried my Pathfinder uniform because the next day there was something happening at Uhuru Park. So after that, I slept in Nairobi, went for service at Uhuru Park. Lunchtime, I went calling the number. The number was given, no answer. The, I tried again, there was no answer. Until the Sabbath was over, I didn't get an answer. After the Sabbath, the phone was picked. And when it was picked, I said, I need a school. What did she get? I said, then I gave my papers. And I said, he told me to write the names of the school I, I wanted. And my daughter really wanted Alliance. So I said, Alliance Girls, Kenya High School, Moy Girls Eldorate. I don't know which other one. The, the paper went. I followed it. When the letter came for me to go to school, it was not Alliance. It was not Kenya High. It was not Moy Girls Eldorate. The school, okay, I was told to go and pick my, 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 my papers from Kabarak High School. So I went to Kabarak, and when I reached Kabarak, I was not given the, uh, the letter to Kabarak High School. Instead, I was given a letter to Sacho High School. And I was like, Sacho. So the principal then told me that, please take your daughter to Sacho. It's a very good school. When I opened, by that time I had not opened the letter, so I left. And when I opened the letter, the letter started, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, the mm -hmm. patron of Sacho. And then the dream came back. And the fees was 10350 mm -hmm. Something that I could afford. If she had gone to Alliance, because her friend went to Alliance, the books only were 35000 35, I didn't have the money. So again, I saw God working in his own way through prayers and answering so that my daughter could go to a school where she could get, I, I mean, I could afford and she could get uh, help. So from there in Form 2, she was taken back to Kabarak. Actually, they just called her back to Kabarak and transferred her to Kabarak. Amen. And from there, God blessed, and she even started getting scholarships because I couldn't afford Kabarak High School. But she got scholarships and went through Kabarak and even went to the university, the best university in the whole world, on scholarship. So all this, I saw God uh, answering just through that three-day prayer and fasting. Amen. Because if you had not, would still go knocking on all the doors. Amen, amen. So I thank God for that. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God amen. is listening. He does. God is listening. Dear he viewers, does. God is listening. Many times we struggle all by ourselves. We do our plans and we want to execute the plans. And we forget God. We forget God that there's a God who created the universe, who is our God, who has redeemed us, who has made us his children. We are called by his name and he wants to help us. He has said, call unto me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that you, you never knew. He has said, I know the thoughts that I think toward you. Amen. Thoughts of peace and not of evil Amen. to give you a future and a hope this is what God says. But many times we struggle on our own. Mm -hmm. Jacinta, can you repeat that verse in Psalms 119? Psalms 118, 118, yes. verse 8 and 9 says, mm. It is better to put your trust in God than in man. Amen. It is better to put your trust in God than have your confidence in princess. So in your first, in your first testimony, you trusted in man and they disappointed you. Yes. In the first, second, second testimony, you trusted in yourself. And you thought, oh, my child has done well. Mm -hmm. I'm going mm -hmm. to get a school. Mm -hmm. But the Lord led you back to prayer. Yes. And after prayer, it was God himself. Yes. Praise the Lord. To an Praise extent God. Of the feast. You know. Amen. I, and the books were all there. Everything. Uniform free, everything was free. Amen. So now we will we will pray. Yes. Dear viewer, in case you are struggling with something, just remember that God 
is listening. He sees you. He's a God who sees and he's listening. And when you pray, pray believing. By the way, in the book of Hebrews 11 and verse 6, it says, but without faith, mm -hmm. it is impossible to please him. For whoever comes to God must believe that, first of all, he is, mm -hmm. that God is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Everyone yeah. that seeks him diligence, diligently, he rewards. In fact, in, in, in the book of uh, Jeremiah 29 and verse 11, mm -hmm. there's, there's 12 and 13, and he says, uh, Okay, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, mm -hmm. saith the Lord, mm -hmm. thoughts of peace and not of evil, mm -hmm. to give you an expected end. And then he says, then shall you go and pray unto me. And I will, huh? Uh, let me not, uh, let me just paraphrase, but read it. And then he says, and you shall seek me and find mm -hmm. me. Mm. when you will seek me with all your heart. Amen. So let's seek the Lord with all our hearts. We will find him. There's so many promises in the Bible. So seeking him means that we search the scriptures, that we pray, that we share uh, the word of God with others, that we mm. share testimonies. The way that um, Jacinta just shared testimony, her testimony with us. Aren't you encouraged? I am encouraged right here in the studio by her testimony. Amen. God wants you to be encouraged that he is for you. Amen. That Jesus came and died for you, that you may be connected to God, that you may be a child of God. For as many as received him, mm. it says in mm. John 1 verse 12, mm. that as many as received him, to them he gave them power mm. to become children of God. Yes. Not just he made them children of mm. God, but he gave them power to become children of God. Can you imagine? Your father is the, the king of the universe. Amen. The God of all flesh who inhabits eternity. Amen. And you're there struggling all by yourself, carrying your burden. Jesus said, come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bless your holy name. We worship you. We magnify you. We adore you. We acknowledge your goodness, your mercies and loving kindness. We acknowledge your greatness. You who created the universe. Oh, Lord our God, you're awesome. You rule over the universe and yet you have allowed us to call you Father. Mm -hmm. You've invited us to come to you, to call upon you at any time of day or night. And you have said you will answer us and you will show us great and mighty things that we never knew. Father, help us to surrender our lives to you, O Lord Jesus, that we may be children of God. Help us, O Lord, to pray that we may see the wonders that you work in our lives, O Lord. Help us, O Lord, our God, to seek you and know the promises that you have for us in your word. Many promises. Be glorified, O Lord, our God. We worship and adore you. Remember that viewer out there mm. who is struggling. Help them, O oh Lord, to surrender to you. Help mm. them to give them to give you their burden because your yoke is easy. Be glorified, O oh Holy One. Amen. We bless your name. We worship you mm. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Dear viewer, thank you very much for watching. God is listening. Thank you for watching Hope Channel. Stay with us and may God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.